Greetings everyone, this is Jeff from the Overwatch team. I just wanna give you a little bit of a warning. I think this is gonna be a longer developer update than we usually do, but it's because we wanna spend time explaining things very carefully to you. So as you know in Overwatch, we give you a very short period of time to choose your team. The Assembles Heroes, Heroes mode is only 40 seconds long. And as many of you know, as, as veteran Overwatch players, Team composition is everything to your success and failure of whether or not you're gonna win the match. And we feel like there's a lot of pressure on you in that 40 seconds to make some very tough decisions. For this reason, we are introducing a feature that's gonna give you more control over your experience. And this feature is called Roll Queue. The reason we are adding Roll Queue is because we believe that it's going to improve match quality. It's gonna give you more control over your play experience. You're gonna have more options as to what you're going to, to play. And it's also gonna relieve a lot of the social pressure that some of us feel and, and overall create a better social experience for us when picking our heroes and picking our roles. So let me go into the details of what role queue is going to be for Overwatch. From now on, in competitive and quick play, as well as in Overwatch Esports, when you queue up for a match, you will be asked to pick a role between support, damage, or tank. When you get into the match, you will only be able to pick the role that you queued for. So if you pick tank, you will be limited to the tanks that you can play. Every team in Overwatch will be comprised of two tanks, two damage, and two support. So obviously this is a very big change, but we think it's a change for the better. There are some really cool reasons to do this. So right now in Overwatch, we give you an overall matchmaking rating because we don't know what you're gonna play. You might get into a match with the intention of playing Reinhardt, but there's already multiple tanks on your team, so you end up playing Widowmaker instead. In that case, you might actually perform much better or worse as a tank than you would as a damage player, and the match balance is in flux constantly because of this. Well, under the new system, you will have an under the hood matchmaking rating for every single role, damage, tank, and support. What's even cooler about this is in competitive, we're now gonna give you, instead of one skill rating for your entire play style, we're gonna give you three skill ratings, each one based on tank damage and support. We found this internally to be a lot of fun. A lot of us are discovering things about ourselves that we didn't even know. For example, for me, I am an entire skill rating tier higher on tank than I am on support. I, I used to think support was my second best role and it actually is my worst role and I'm decent at damage and really good at tank. So I learned something about myself as a player which was really cool and it was neat to see that my tank play is an entire skill rating higher than my damage or support. So that was, that was really cool and we think it'll be a lot of fun for you. Now you're probably wondering about some of the details with competitive play and how that might change the experience. Instead of playing 10 placement matches and then being placed into the competitive season, you will now have the option for each role of only having to place in five placement matches. So if you wanna place in all three, which we totally encourage you to do, um, you would do five placement matches per role and then you'll be placed and you will get a uh, skill rating that will actually display on your career profile. And each season you can now try to raise and lower three different skill ratings instead of just one. We think this will be really cool. If you place in any role, it, like if you just picked one, you just wanna play damage for competitive, um, we'll give you the player icon and the spray like we've done in previous seasons. One of the things that I think is really cool though is for placing in all three and you know having a skill rating in all three roles, you now get competitive points per role. So if you place in all three roles in a season, you'll actually get more competitive points than you would have previously under the old system. So we think that's really cool. We will, we will publish a chart that shows 
um, how the new competitive points sort of translate and all of that. Now, there are some other differences to competitive that will hap happen, and this is in regards to, you know, um, the new the the, the new system and making sure that we test it properly. So we're going to end season 17 early and we're going to start a beta competitive season that will start on August 13th and only run for two weeks. Roll queue is a very complicated feature that requires a lot of testing. And while roll queue will be on the PTR for P PC today, we want to have more broad testing that actually touches PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. So we're gonna roll we're gonna roll a beta season that's gonna start on August 13th and last until September 1st. That's gonna allow us to tune and tweak roll queue to make sure that it's perfect when it when it releases officially, which is gonna be on September 1st. So you're initially going to get a beta competitive season that features roll queue that's going to last two weeks starting in mid-August. Then on September 1st, roll queue turns on for everyone. This means quick play, this means competitive, even some of the arcade modes. Now, we know some of you really love the way that quick play and competitive work right now, and you don't want to have a roll limit. So for those of you folks who aren't interested in the roll limit, or maybe you do like the roll limit, but you just occasionally want to play the other way, we're going to make sure that in the arcade, there is a card called Quick Play Classic that will allow you to play Overwatch exactly as you do today, um, with the added benefit that you'll also be getting the arcade loot boxes. So we think that this will be a very positive experience um, for those of you who are reluctant about roll queue or maybe want to take your time experimenting with the feature, know that the Quick Play Classic feature is there for you. Now, I want to spend a little bit more time talking about the why of this feature. I think there, um, there's a lot that's changed about Overwatch in, in the past few years, and all of it's good. The players have evolved, the games have evolved, how we think about team composition has evolved. I think a lot of us realize how important the different roles are, how important team composition is, and we approach the game differently. Now, we've all been in these various scenarios, and I, I'm, I'm going to spell some of them out for you. Um, think about the time that you just wanted to play Hanzo. You were really in the mood to play Hanzo, and so you log into Overwatch, and you click on Hanzo as soon as he's available in, in the role lineup, and then you're watching the heroes uh, on your team get selected around you and you suddenly realize that you have no tanks in support and there you are on Hanzo. And you're faced with this dilemma like, what, what do I do? At this point, we have no tanks, we have no support. If I switch off of Hanzo, uh, I'm not getting to do what I wanted to do, yet I feel like we're going to lose because there's nobody to heal and there's nobody to tank. So it's a, a really tough dilemma. Um, there's also a lot of us who always pick last. I'm, I'm a player that does this. I always tell my team, I'll flex, you guys all pick, and I'll go ahead and, and fill for, for whatever's left. So a lot of times, what will end up happening is, for example, I'll end up playing support on my team. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I happen to know that my matchmaking rating as a support player is far lower than my matchmaking rating as a tank player even though I'm trying to be a good teammate to you when I'm picking support, I might actually be putting my team in a very detrimental situation. Sure, I'll play Zenyatta, I'll play Mercy, but I'm not as good of a Mercy player as I am as a, a D.Va or a Reinhardt player. And in essence, I've caused a great imbalance to happen in the game. So we've all been under these scenarios as well where we're trying to do the right thing and we don't even realize that innocently we are damaging the quality of the match and lessening my team's odds of winning the match by playing a role that I wasn't intended uh, to play. So that's another example. And then possibly the one that I think bothers a lot of us is we get into a match, we think we're picking a hero that's really gonna help our team, we pick that hero, and then another teammate disagrees with us 
and maybe they're very vocal and they're putting pressure on me to play something different. And either for reasons that I, I feel like I'm not skilled at that hero or I just don't wanna play that hero, now I'm getting this pressure from somebody else to switch onto something that I'm not comfortable doing. And we've added this social tension. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the developer update, we're only giving you 40 seconds to resolve these type of issues. All of these scenarios that I sort of spelled out for you are the reason that we're moving the game in this direction. I want to dispel any misconception that the reason that we are implementing this feature is to change the meta. We are not at all. In fact, we're in the middle of a big meta shift anyway that's happening very naturally through hero balance. Um, we don't believe that a rule like this is intended to target any one specific meta. There will always be a meta, there will always be some level of dis dissatisfaction with a meta, um, and we would never make a rule change like this targeted at a specific meta. It's also not our goal to control the meta. Um, I've heard people say that if we went to something like a 2-2-2 two, two, two composition, we would be limiting the creativity of the game. And I, I couldn't disagree with this more. I feel like the most creative people work creatively within constraints. For example, and I, I know I'm off on a bit of a tangent here, but Shakespeare, one of the greatest writers of all time, wrote beautiful sonnets. And there's no more constrained form of poetry than the sonnet, which is 14 lines of iambic pentameter. I think if Shakespeare can be creative within the sonnet, I'm confident that you all will come up with creative team compositions within a 2-2-2 two, two, two situation. So there's a lot going on here. Um, the, the last part that I want to mention that I, I feel like is, is by no means the, the least part that we should focus on is hero balance. Now, with a 2-2-2 two, two, two composition, it's going to change how we have to balance the heroes. It's not going to be easier to balance the heroes. It's not going to be more difficult to balance the heroes. It's just different. And there are changes that are going to have to happen to some of our heroes to make them viable within uh, this roll queue 2-2-2 two, two, two setup that we are moving to. A hero that I will use as an example is Brigitta. Brigitta is going to get a lot of big balance changes, and you'll be able to read about these. We'll link to them, and you'll be able to read all the patch notes, so you'll know what I'm talking about. But Brigitte is going to get tremendous balance changes, and the reason being is currently Brigitte is extremely powerful when played with two other supports, so you're already in a three-support situation. But Brigitte is actually not as viable with only one other support. And sometimes Brigitte can be a detriment to your team when only played with one other support. We need to rebalance Brigitte for this current situation. You'll see this happen with some of our other heroes as well. Now, we know Roll Q is going to be a big change. I think this is the biggest change we've added to the game since we went to the hero limit three years ago. This is a big change. I know it's dramatic. I know players in general are adverse to change. Please work with us on this. We're doing this to make the game better. We believe that it will make the, the, the overall experience for all of you better, and that's why we're making the change. If things aren't great at first, we have lots of knobs to turn to make things better. We are monitoring this extremely closely, and we're gonna do a lot of things um, to make sure that this is the absolute healthiest choice for the game at all points. And know that the entire team is committed to making changes if we do anything that's not for the best of the game. One of the things that I'm personally concerned about is queue times. I think that it's possible if one role is more popular than the other roles, people are going to have to wait longer to play that role. I anticipate this for the, the damage role in particular. I think um, there might be longer queue times for, for damage. We are doing some things to help alleviate this. There is a reward system in place for playing the roles that are, are more impacted. Um, you will get a bonus for playing those roles, and you'll learn more about that. And then also, um, we just think the very nature of knowing that you're going to have a quicker experience. If you want to play really, really fast, you can either go to the arcade and play Quick Play Classic, 
or you can play some of those um, other um, roles that are more impacted right now. So know that this is something that we're keeping an eye on, but it's a direct trade-off to moving towards this type of system. We really appreciate your patience with us. I know so many of you have wanted this feature for so long. We've actually been working on this for over a year. It's an extremely complicated change. It's required a complete rewrite of our matchmaking system in order to get us here. Uh, but we believe that this is the best thing for the long-term health of the game. We're gonna continue to iterate on the feature as it goes live, and we're going to make sure that overall the play experience is improved. And the reason for doing a big dramatic change like this is to make sure that all of you continue to have more fun playing Overwatch, and maybe some people who used to play Overwatch will be happy to come back because now this is in place and they know they're guaranteed to play the role that they really wanted to play in that match. We're looking forward to what you have to say about this on the PTR. We're also looking forward to your feedback when it goes into that short uh, multi-week beta season that I mentioned earlier. As always, we're reading and listening to all of your feedback and we can't wait to bring this feature to you. We think it will really improve the experience of Overwatch. Thank you.